Hey, what's up, Penguin Outdoors? So there's a video I've been wanting to shoot and I'm gonna kind of squeeze it in. I don't have a ton of time because as you can tell behind me, uh, sunlight's kind of fading out, but we're gonna get it going. Waterless car wash. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Now, if you're on Facebook and you like cars, you have probably seen a bunch of ads for this stuff being thrown at you. And if you haven't, Lord knows after you watch this video, you will, because Big Brother will just pump them on down. This stuff is made by NextGen. NextGen Waterless Wash. They have all kinds of products they advertise. This one they show like a muddy pickup truck that's been washed in three months or whatever with this stuff. So we're gonna try it. My biggest concern is it not scratching my paint. Swears that it won't do it. That's the next gen. And then, courtesy of Amazon, we also have Adams CS3. Pretty much claims to do the same stuff. Now, Adams I know about. I use Chemical Guys products mostly cleaning my cars. Adams makes very good stuff. I have a lot of theirs in my garage too. I have more faith in this, if I'm being honest, than I do in next gen. Now, here's the other thing. I'm not 100% sure how much this one costs. I'm gonna put it right here after I look it up when I'm editing the video. This stuff, almost $60 for a 16 ounce bottle of stuff to clean my car without water. It seems like a gimmick to me, but even if it works, let's say that this stuff ends up being like the greatest thing, $56? That's 50 to $6 I'll never see again. So we're gonna try it out. Let it get what I consider fairly dirty. It's bothering the shit out of me. For this test, I'm gonna use the back. Flip this bad boy around. Look at that. That is dirty. Let's see if I can get a different angle here. It's dirty. Just quickly before we lose the sun. There's Shelby. Hi, Shelby. I'm gonna throw a piece of paint tape down the middle there. And then uh, let's get this going. Now I have a lot of different microfiber cloths floating around. I like the yellow ones for interior. I like these for exterior. Girls, go away. Go play. <laughs> Car's so dirty the tape doesn't want to stick. Good enough. Like I said, we're losing sunlight, so we're just going to work with it. Let me shake this up. <clears throat> All right, next gen's going on the left. In the interest of time, go ahead and hose this one down over here with this one. This side's getting the atoms. Let's do this thing. Next gen side is first. All they ever do is just wipe it, so that's all I'm gonna do. The reason they say this doesn't scratch your paint, next gen that is, is that it's got that ceramic technology that encapsulates the, encapsulates the dirt, blah, blah, blah. Just, man, something about, something about rubbing a car when the dirt has not been power sprayed off, man, it just really bugs me. Hannah, get out from under the porch before you get stuck. Come on, pretty girl, get out of there. I feel like the Adams, and maybe I'll see something different when I watch it back. I feel like the atoms came off uh, more dry and more clean in less work. Well, one thing I'll say right off as the as the atom side dries, that is quite shiny. I mean, I'll give it that. This panel here, I mean, it definitely looks clean. All right, first impressions. I'll back you up a little bit here. I don't know how well it's gonna come out on camera. Both sides are definitely clean. 
I mean, it, it cleaned it. I'll give it that. I don't see any any scratches or anything. Doesn't mean they're not there, but I don't see them. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just go around that side of the car to the front and use the Adams. And on this side, I'm using next gen. I'm just gonna go through and clean the car. Yeah, look at that. Well, hell, let's get that shot. You can tell right off. It's definitely cleaning it. Just do it as they showed on their videos. The Adams definitely smells better if we're giving points for that. I'm stopping right here. It's getting it good and wet. It's kind of a stubborn spot. What's up, pumpkin? Hi. How you doing? For starters, it was a very basic wash. I did not do the roof. I did not do below the, I didn't do the bottom line of the car. I did not do the wheels. I did not do the windshield. Uh, I didn't do a lot of the front bumper. So very quick, basic wash. As far as consumption goes, pretty much neck and neck. I used, little more than half a bottle of each to do half a car. Keep that in mind. Half this car is next gen, half this car is Adams. So again, I did not do below that line. Now it does not look bad. Again, didn't do below that line. It doesn't look bad. It looks better than before. If I were to finish the bottom, hit the roof, you could call it clean. I would not call it clean. I would call it cleaner. I would call it better than it was. I would not call it clean. So what's the bottom line here, Steve, right? That's what you came here for. <sighs> That's a lot of product in one use, not even a complete use. And let's be, you know, let's be fair. Let's show both of them. It's right about there. You can see it. That is a lot of product in one use. It's not even a complete use. Guys, these each did half a car. $56. And again, being fair to Adams, at the time of shooting this, I don't know what this costs. I gotta look it up. I didn't pay for that one. I paid for this one. $56. It's just not worth it. I'm gonna say I've probably been shooting for about 30 minutes. So if you take away the shooting 
and the, and the, all that stuff and you just go for it you could probably spray down spray and clean this whole car 15 20 minutes and it would be clean but for what it takes me a couple of minutes to pull out my power washer pull out the hose hook up the foam gun you know power wash the obvious dirt off hit it with the foam gun clean it dry it i can literally with uh, actual clean half an hour 45 minutes have this thing looking better than it does right now in that tw you know 20 minutes half an hour in an hour i can have it looking great i just i don't see where this is a good idea if this was 20 dollars and you were going to car shows i could see keeping a bottle of this around at you know 14.99 yeah i would probably buy it and use it for quick details um, the, the biggest benefit here, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw one at you. The biggest benefit I could see to this would be, I can do it inside my garage. I cannot power wash and stuff inside my garage between four, 15 and 20 bucks. I would buy this or this to be able to clean my garage in, in, or my, clean my car in the garage. Like let's say it's raining or something. And the next day it's going to be sunny. That would be worth it. Not at $56. It's just, no. I don't care how funny their commercials are or how much Facebook throws them at me. Just no, it's not worth it because I don't know what this costs. Actually, hold on. Pow, just like that, I'm back. All right, guys, I wish I would have looked this up sooner. This right here, I just looked it up. 16 fluid ounce, same as the next gen. $18.99. I found it as low as $16.99 and as high as $24.99. Under $20.00. For this, 60, $56 is what I paid for this, under $20. This one right here, okay, keep this in your garage. Absolutely, for under, like I said before, for between 15 and 20 bucks to be able to clean it inside the garage or do a quick thing between before a car show, especially my car was fairly dirty. If you're just cleaning it up on a lighter, lighter amount of filth, worth it. So here's what we're gonna say. If you have a use for it, the Adams is worth it. If you have a use for it, buy the Adams. Too much money. This wins. Absolutely. Under 20 bucks. This? No. Not my money, folks. Maybe yours. Penguin Out. Well, we hoped you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more great videos from the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that little bell so you get notified when new content is available. Please leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.